David said to God, I am in great, I am in deep distress. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord for his mercy is great, but do not let me fall into the, into human hands. So the Lord sent a plague on Israel from that morning until the end of the time designated and 70,000 of the people from Dan to Beersheba died. When the angel stretched out his hand to destroy Jerusalem, the Lord relented concerning the disaster and said to the angel who was afflicting the people, Enough! Withdraw your hand! The angel of the Lord was then at the threshing floor of Arana, the Jebusite. Alright, let's just pause here a bit. Let's pause here. Awful experience. Um, he chose and then this happened. But you know what I want to point out? That even though the Bible says he was conscience stricken, and he asked God's forgiveness, God still decided, you know something? This, this land is going to be judged. This land is going to be judged. And if you look back on how it started at the beginning, let's go right back to the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, it says, again, the anger of the Lord burned against Israel and he incited David against them. So clearly the land was in a certain state right that god was not pleased with with which god was pleased right and here it was he incited david so so yeah god decided yes you're constantly stricken yeah but this land needs judgment you understand me you know and, and you know we are now passing through a plague the, the covid 19 plague but you know i sometimes you notice very clearly that men and women are not turning to god and saying hey god you're the only one who can help us. We're very defined in our, our assessment of our abilities to help ourselves, to do the lockdown, to do the mask, to get the vaccine, and all those are good things. I'm not condemning them, but we need to turn our hearts to God. That's the key in terms of the plague. 